GearWire. I'm Bill Holland, and today we are looking at the Thor Polysonic Synthesizer that is part of Reason 4, the uh, new version of Reason from Propellerhead Software. And uh, this is there's a lot to this, so we're going to look at it as an overall uh, overview first. And then we'll come back and look at the oscillators, filters, delays, etc. separately. Uh, but first, to give a general overview, let's take a look at this setup. Now, first you'll notice, if I start playing here, we have um, basic overall controls that can be assigned as rotary knobs. Uh, right now, it's set to tighten and delay, but those can actually be, um, you can reset those parameters, and you can set the actual keys uh, that control these. If you'll notice, I can open and close the programmer. So if I just want to keep it as a rack unit, I can do that. Or I can shrink it down like I can with other uh, Reason sequencers. Now you'll notice I can set the polyphony and release polyphony to increase the number of voices or bring it down. So if I want to make it monophonic, I can. And this will also allow me to take this and uh, change it by increasing the portamento. Right now I only have one oscillator open, it's number one, and if I switch the balance over I can bring in two. And right now it's being overpowered a little bit by number two, so I can actually open that up a little bit. And open up the filter. And what I can also do is uh, bring in a third oscillator that right now it's not open, but I can actually add another one. Now right now you'll notice it's not doing much because it's not assigned to either of these filters. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it on filter 2. And you'll actually hear it come in as the third there. And it's not controlled by the balance. It's actually on its own over here, you'll notice. And I, again, take a look at the filters here uh, to start with. You'll notice um, I have two filters which control three different oscillators. So the oscillators start here, and you'll notice the patching is actually written in for you with arrows that go to the mixer. So one, two, and three all go to this mixer here. The balance between one and two is controlled here. The overall level of the two is here. And then number three, again, is its own slider. You also notice that then it goes through an LFO, uh, the signal of which can, you'll notice there's routing here. Okay, oscillators all go into this endpoint. Then you can send either one, two, or three, your choice, to the whatever filter you decide on. If you notice, there's uh, several filters that can go through. And actually, backing up for a second here, before I go into detail on this, I'm going to look at the actual oscillators. You have a lot of choices with the oscillators. Normally, it starts off with a default analog oscillator. But you can also choose wavetable, phase modulation, FM pair, multi-oscillator, noise, or off if you don't want one. For now, we're going to keep an analog there. I'll switch this over to a wavetable. And this one over to phase modulation to show you the difference. Real quick, um, let's look at one. Now you can make it sound fatter than this by changing up the various different parameters. Juicier down below. If it's on square, I can actually change this up. Triangle. Pulse. 